Breaking news, there's a fire at a Nashville apartment complex on Derby Trace, and one person has been hurt. Now, this is the scene at Brentwood Downs Apartments. This is in the south part of town, just off Edmondson Pike near Old Hickory Boulevard. Nashville Fire describes it as a two-alarm fire. The injured person is on the way to the hospital. They're awake, alert, and in stable condition. Sky 5 is on the way, and you see Sky 5 on our Facebook page and NewsChannel5.com. Again, that's Brentwood Downs off of Edmondson. And Pike. Also breaking now, police are on the scene of an office park shooting in Maryland. This video just into our newsroom. The sheriff in Edgewood says three people have been killed and two others were wounded. Police still looking for the gunman. Again, this office park shooting is near Baltimore, Maryland. The search for the suspect continues. We'll have updates online at newschannel5.com as we get them. More than two dozen stolen guns now on the streets and in the hands of criminals. Smyrna police confirmed two men and one woman broke into the guns and more on Sam Ridley Parkway in Smyrna just before three this morning. They say surveillance shows they were all wearing masks. The burglar smashed the front window of the store and then all of the display cases inside. People inside the store told us around 25 semi-automatic handguns were stolen worth thousands of dollars. The burglars didn't take any of the rifles or the shotguns off of the walls. President Trump sparked controversy when he claimed past presidents didn't make calls to Gold Star families after their loved ones were killed in combat. Now the president is dealing with a new controversy over a phone call that he did make to the widow of a Green Beret killed in West Africa. Mola Lenghi has more. President Trump called the families of four U.S. soldiers killed in action earlier this month, including Sergeant LaDavid Johnson. Johnson's wife took the call while on the way to the airport to receive her husband's body. Congresswoman Frederica Wilson says she was in the car with Johnson's widow when she got the call. He said to the wife, well, I guess he knew what he was getting into. How insensitive can you be? The president refuted the claim on Twitter this morning, saying Representative Wilson totally fabricated what I said to the wife of a soldier who died in action. And I have proof. I have proof, too. This man is a sick man. Uh, he's cold hearted and he feels no pity or sympathy for anyone. And when she actually hung up the phone, she looked at me and said he didn't even know his name. President Trump doubled down Tuesday on his claim that previous administrations did not call Gold Star families after their loved ones were killed in action. And he pointed to his own chief of staff as evidence. I mean, you could ask General Kelly, did he get a call from Obama? You could ask other people. I don't know what Obama's policy was. White House records show that General Kelly and his wife did meet privately with Mr. and Mrs. Obama at a breakfast to honor Gold Star families a year after their son's passing. General Kelly declined to comment and has made it clear in the past that he does not want his son's death exploited. On Memorial Day, General Kelly and President Trump visited his son's grave at Arlington National Cemetery. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House. Crews will break ground today on a memorial for the Blue Angels pilot killed during last year's air show in Smyrna. Captain Jeff Coos died during a practice run for the Great Tennessee Air Show in June of 2016. The city raised more than $1 million for a permanent memorial in his honor at Lee Victory Recreation Park. The ceremony honoring Captain Jeff Coos is this afternoon at 2 p.m. A country music star raised right here in our area gets the biggest honor of his career. Chris Young was inducted as the newest member of the Grand Ole Opry family last night. Brad Paisley was on hand to help welcome Chris to that esteemed group. Fellow artist and friend Vince Gill surprised the Murfreesboro native with an invite back in August. It's, it's amazing. I'm just, the fact that it was Vince that did it, the fact that they totally got something past me, which I pride myself on not ever getting surprised because I don't like surprises. I'll take that one. That was that was a really good surprise. That was a good one. You can get Chris Young's new album, Losing Sleep, this Friday. He kicks off his world tour in January. Congratulations to a hometown star.